Okay kids, right here in this box, I have something uh, that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and that is uh, build a four x four frame. Now I went to EasyTube, uh, and I'll leave a link all down below where you can have this done. And they paid about $196 uh, for this frame to be made. Now, normally I would have bought two pieces of eight foot uh, tubing, and uh, that would have been much cheaper. Unfortunately, they stopped doing uh, uh, I believe like the eight foot or six foot tubing, they stopped doing it because too many filmmakers were coming to them. So I did spend the extra money and have a four by four frame built. So this is what I got in the box. I have four of these long connectors here and I have the pins for them and I have the corner connectors and they did package this up really, really nicely. And then we have four uh, 22.5 uh, size pieces. Now the reason I did that is because you have to take into account the, uh, the little attachments here and how much space they're going to take up. <clears throat> okay, so the reason I did this was because uh, when you look at things like the Matthews frames, those are all incredibly expensive. Yes, they do come with drops and scrims and things like that. Even the Westcott for like $400 comes with like a, a, a diffusion, uh, a silver, and then it comes with a, a silver combination white bounce. But incidentally enough, interestingly enough, it does not come with uh, a negative fill. And again, that is all silver. With the Easy Tube, I went with these beautiful black tubes so that they would not reflect light. Uh, and it looks like they've done just an excellent job drilling these out, which is very, very cool. So each piece is about 22 and a half exactly, which is awesome because I can get a tripod bag and slide this all into a small tripod bag and take it with me. And there we go. There is four right there. These are very, very nice. It feels very premium. And I will tell you, this is exactly what the, I believe the, the Matthews and the uh, Westcott, this is exactly what it is. Uh, <laughs> they probably have it made by, ordered by EasyTube or doing the same process. They did do a great job wrapping these. So I'm very impressed. So the great thing about this is I can either go two by two or four by four, which is fantastic. Um, really love it, it's very much worth it. So if I'm shooting in a house and it's very small, I could do a very small piece of diffusion or I could do a very large piece of diffusion. Now, let's go ahead, what you are, there is some assembly required here. Uh, they did give me a very nice pen uh, that says uh, Easy Tube. So let's go ahead and let's tear into this and set this up. Okay, so next we have all the pieces here. We are going to need to assemble everything. So you wanna kinda of squeeze this together and snap it in like so. And make sure they are all together here. All snappy snappy. And very excited to have this in my studio uh, because I looked at four by fours and they were all very, very expensive. Uh, so I'm glad that this is gonna be something where I can make my own drops or I can buy previously made drops uh, and I should be okay to, to roll out with that. I think they're supposed to technically go in this way, but there were no installation instructions and I could always fix it later if I don't like it. Okay, so once these are assembled, we can go ahead and start snapping these together. And you just have to press the button down and they beautifully go in like so, which is very, very cool. These go in very, very solidly. And I'll put these together, whoops. EasyTube did a fantastic job on these. Now the great thing about this is I can now go and take one of these tubes and buy my own, uh, buy my own uh, tubes and just pick up at EasyTube these connectors and just buy the metal and cut it myself and I can use these as a reference hole. So if I wanna build a six by six, uh, I can go ahead and do that. But I went, initially I had them build the first ones, uh, one just for quality sake, uh, and time's sake, I didn't want to spend a lot of time building, and two, uh, I wanted kind of the template here, so, which is what I got. 
And these just fasten together very, very quickly and very nicely. Very impressed with this. And here we go. We have a very lovely 4x4 frame. Uh, this thing is huge, um, which is awesome. All I have to do is now add one of these. Uh, basically, just have to add one of these. Let's go grab a C-stand here. Okay, so what I've got here is the C-stand with a head. I am taking a super clamp here with the head here. And we're going to attach that like so. Spin that in. I'm going to lock this into the C-stand itself like so. There we go. And then all we have to do, I would recommend using two of these, but all you have to do is spin this in like so. <laughs> there you go. And then you just add, and I'll do another one on this side, and then you'll just add your diffusion or whatever you need. And you've got a solid four by four frame, which is super awesome. So there you go. That is the EasyTube 4x4 frame. Now I have this specially built. Uh, I will leave in the, first off, a, a, a um, special shout out to, I believe, James Powers, uh, Jimmy Powers or James, I think it's James Powers, uh, for his original video. He's the one who told me about this. Uh, so big shout out to him. And uh, the center is a little flimsy. I wish it were a little stronger, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine once I start adding uh, bongo ties and this starts to kind of pull and stretch and everything and it should be fine. But this is very nice. Now I will probably coat the front here with some Velcro so I can make my own diffusion panels and, and negative fill and things like that. Uh, so I do definitely plan on doing my own and possibly I do have a grid coming for this that'll actually bongo tie onto this, uh, which is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, but this is looks great. I have a four by four and a two by two and uh, I might build myself a six by six. So uh, there will be an, a few update videos on this coming soon. So look for those. And uh, that's it. This is pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited about this. So that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the notes below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to mash that bell button to be notified when we drop a brand new video. And feel free to use the links below as it helps out the channel. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this it's new to me.